Miss Stephanie. Welcome to story time. It's so good to see you today. Um, today we're going to be talking about animals that you might see in your backyard outside. So some woodland critters that we could think of as an example could be a fox, maybe some birds, a raccoon, and what's this? Does anyone know what this is? It's a possum. Yeah, you could find that outside in your backyard. But first, we're gonna be singing a welcoming song. called The Night World, and it's by Mordecai Gerstein. And um, we can share this book thanks to Little Brown and Company. And um, what animal do you think is on the cover of this book? It says, meow, right? It's a cat. So he's got a cat inside his house. Let's see what's outside. So it looks like he is asleep until meow. Maybe something's out there. Meow. Oh, it's too late to go out, Sylvie. Or is it too early? Meow. Literally says meow. I know that meow. Everyone is sleeping, even the goldfish. Everyone except for Sylvie and me. Is this our house? In the dark, it seems like a different place. Meow says Sylvie. It's coming. That's not something cats say. What's coming? It's almost here, Sylvie says. Hurry. What's outside? The grass is wet with dew. The air is warm and sweet. This is the night world. There are shadows everywhere. You can see some animals probably in the night world too. Maybe ones we even saw in the beginning of our story time. Are those shadows roses? And are these lilies and sunflowers? What are their colors? They do look different at night. What color are they normally? Roses are red, sunflowers yellow. Is that shadow a deer? Is this one a rabbit? A porcupine looks up and whispers, oh, it's almost here. Ooh, something's almost here. Look at all those critters out there. Owls. What else do we see? Rabbits right there. Let's see, we see a deer. So many things outside. Then a robin right up here, 
he says, it's on its way. And now another robin. Here it comes. What's coming? It's almost here, says a chickadee. It's almost here. Now birds near and far, each in its own language. <gasps> it's on its way. What do they know that we don't? Look, says Sylvie, look, look, sing all the birds. And suddenly all is still. Through the leaves of the trees, there is a glow. Here and there, shadows start to slip away. Where's everyone going, I ask. This is our bedtime, says por Porcupine. Oh, sweet dreams, say I. The glow flares above the trees. Clouds turn pink and orange. Wow, you can see the animals better now, can't you? Pink and orange and purple too. And yellow, so many colors in the sky. The grass turns green. The roses turn pink and red. The lilies and sunflowers turn yellow. <gasps> it's here, says Sylvie. What is it? The sun, right? The daytime. And the great glowing golden disk of sun bursts from the top of the trees. Good morning, sun, says Sylvie. Good morning, sing all the birds. It's gonna be a beautiful day. And I sing too. Good morning, sun. And good morning to you, Sylvie. Meow, says Sylvie. That's how she says hello, huh? From the house, I hear yawns. Oh, yeah, it's morning time. Everyone's waking up. Good morning, everyone. It's going to be a beautiful day. The end. Okay, next we're gonna be playing a little game with this book. It's called, Who Has These Feet? And it's by Laura Hulbert, illustrated by Eric Brooks. We're not gonna read the whole book, but we're gonna use it for our little game, okay? And if you have an egg shaker or something resembling an egg shaker or something that makes noise like this, feel free to get it now. You can pause the video and come back and we'll do something together, okay? And we can share this thanks to Henry Holt and company. Who has these feet? Who has these feet? Who do you think has these feet? What animal does it look like? A polar bear has these feet. Who has these feet? Who has these feet? What do these feet look like? A frog has these feet. Who has these feet? Who has these feet? Who has these feet? What do they look like? Why? A duck has these feet. Who has these feet? Who has these feet? Oh, those look very strange, don't they? <gasps> it's an ant! An ant has these feet! Who has these feet? Who has these feet? Who has these feet? <gasps> A squirrel has these feet! these feet? Who has these feet? Who has these feet? Looks very sharp. A parrot has these feet. Who has these feet? Who has these feet? Who has these feet? A lizard has these feet. Who has 
these feet? Who has these feet? Whose feet is that? Looks like a fin almost, right? <gasps> a sea turtle has these feet. <gasps> Who has these feet? Who has these feet? Who has these feet now? Oh, a kangaroo has these feet. Who has these feet? Who has these feet? <gasps> we all have these feet. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this book I'm going to share is called Holy Moly, and it's by Lois Ellert and illustrated by Lois Ellert. And we could share this thanks to Beach Lane Books. All right, let's get started. See this hole? I dug it. I'm a mole. The mole? <gasps> but making holes in the lawn is a no-no. Holy moly, how was I to know? Now I'm a crime suspect number one, and I'm on the run. Oh, look at all those worms. I'll dig and dig and dig and disappear under here. Yeah. Underground worms look inviting, but I'm not biting. No way. Eating earthworms is okay, but not every day. Oh, ick, what a bore. I'll dig and dig and dig and explore. Follow my nose and see where it goes. Holy moly, worms making holes? No, no, whammo. It's not those worms making big holes. And bugs that chew? No, no. Zapparoo. That's what he says to those bugs. Zapparoo. I gotta keep that. I'll invite these pests to be my dinner guests. Mmm. Worms are very tasty to moles, aren't they? Life swell, and I eat well. I love variety. But my fur coat's tight as a bark on a tree. And my burrow seems small. Holy moly, I'm a fat fur ball. <laughs> the small rhyme with something else on this page, small ball. Those two words sound very similar. Life sure has its ups and downs. Now I'm seeking new digs with a view. Yeah. Do you think I could move in with you? Hmm, I don't know. I don't think the worms would like it. And then at the end, you could see all of the things that were in the book, all the bugs, all the plants, everything, and you could learn more about them and their facts. And that's the end of Holy Moly. All right, 
Thank you so much for joining me for my first story time coming back for the 2021 year. Um, I will see you later next time. And right now we're just going to be singing our goodbye song and I'll see you when I do story time again. So we're going to do zoom, zoom, zoom. And all you got to do is clap your hands like this to dance along with us. And you sing zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, just climb up on my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs>